Nigeria is ready to give Southeast another war, Northern Senator. He warned that the Nigerian government would have no choice but to war in the Southeast if the people demanded for it. As you can see that these people, they are not even ready to listen to the people that are agitating. In the first place, something uh, brought something, you get. Why I said that is that people started agitating because of something. Now, the federal government is not even after why are they agitating. This should have been their first question. Why are these people agitating? Or let's see why they are agitating, then see what we can do about it. These people have been crying about uh, marginalization in their region, you know, and they'll be saying that the federal government, they don't care about them. And if you look at it carefully, all the Jewish position in this country is headed by the North. You get the Northerners and all that. So you are saying one Nigeria and you don't, you don't practice it. And this is what Nigerians are saying. Now, they don't even care to know why these people are agitating, meaning that they are now uh, feeling as if the Nigerian government belongs to uh, only them. This one they are talking about war, 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 <laughs> here and there. If the war comes, I hope they will stand for it. You get? Because according to our forefathers, according to our grandfathers, war is not what someone can just start to bargain. You get it's not it's not a good thing but the way these people are going about it nigerians too they are ready to give what to give them what they want because they are behaving as if the nigerian government belongs to them the presidency those people won't say me i don't even understand the one when they did whether they be president for only the northern they don't they, they are not president for you know the other regions but knowing too well that you are not president for other regions, why are you not, you know, doing the needful to let these people go their separate way? These are the questions Nigerians are asking here. You get. Restructure the country. You don't want to listen. Okay? Let there be breakup. You don't want to listen. Let's have a new constitution. You don't want to listen. So you see, these people, they just want to learn in a hard way. For goodness sake, the world is watching. These people, they are too stubborn. They are too adamant to the problems facing Nigerians. They don't even know the problems facing this, the, 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 the citizen. Honestly speaking, it's just really getting out of hands. I don't know how we got to this. But we pray that God will see us through. Last, last. Anyway, guys, let's get to the news and get the full details. But if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate. The Chairman Senate Committee on Foreign Relations, Senator Adamu Bukachua, he has declared that the Nigerian government will not bow to the demands of those he described as his students in the Southeast. Adamu noted that the Southeast had tried in the past to separate the country, which resulted in a civil war. He asked if they, the Southeast, wanted to take the, the same route again. He warned that the Nigerian government would have no choice but to war in the Southeast if the people demanded for it. According to him, the government will fight the South Southeasterners and give them what they want. Adamu also believed that the killings, kidnappings, banditry, and agitations were all prelogued to the general elections in 2023, insisting they will not be zoning of the presidency because it is the undemocratic and unconstitutional. There are people who feel democracy is not good enough for them and they want to deserve their, their own means of belonging to this entity called nigeria and if they don't have their wish they will let nigeria go to pieces he said on channels tv so is that anything that the constitution allows or encourages he's asking a question so 
they are absolutely outside the realm of the constitution they are just rebels and criminals in short so what are we going to consider to even give them a chance to come and say their wish and let nigeria tremble and bow before them and say okay we grant you your wish those students say in the south is they all call claiming that they want their own country called biafra right if that is the case it is by killing people that they will get the country they have tried it before do they want us to go back to the same route i don't think so but if they do if that is what they choose has nigerian got any choice you drop a question again we we will we just allow them bow and say we will grant you your own wish no nigerian government has to stand out fight them and give them what they want the southeast has been clamoring to be given the opportunity to produce the next president of the country come 2023 but senator adamu pointed out that politics is a game of number he added that political parties should be allowed to present the right candidate from any zone for nigerians to pick from i believe those banditry kidnappings agitations and killings are all pre-lodged to the 2023 election he added I don't even believe in zoning. I believe the right candidate should be feeded by all the parties and then let Nigerians choose from the best among them. And those who have the number who believe the same candidate will obviously win unless you don't want that, that which is against the norms of democracy. Then I don't know you can device your own means i don't believe in zoning in democratic i don't believe zoning will produce the best president for the country he said okay someone said then uh, hmm. don't say nigeria federal government but say fulani federal government will fight the next civil war the real war will start within the forces formations no yoruba no south south no middle bed, no re -ausa. we follow you people. Only Fulani will fight the war. You blood suckers. You don't talk of your kinsmen, Fulani headsmen, bandits, Boko Haram, kidnapping, uh, killing thousands of Nigerians every day. Don't think that the first formations are all happy with this Fulani government. So guys, we've all heard it now. I'm dropping it here. Hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.